All right, everybody, welcome to day three of the Mikeru versus Dylan road to 1k total level hardcore Iron Man challenge. Uh, we have a lot planned today, a lot to do to catch up. Mikeru, as of right now, at the end of his day three, is going to be around 730 to 750 total level. So we have to get about 200 to catch up. But with how much we have planned today, if we can do it all super efficiently and do it all without making a ton of mistakes, we should be doing all right. I literally just started the stream. We have five minutes until we can do our first cache, because that's what we'll be starting out with. And then once we're done with the cache, we have a whole line of stuff planned. We're working to, we're going to end up working towards Evil Dave's Big Day Out as sort of like a big XP drop quest to maybe even just finish the challenge on as a last ditch effort. If we uh, can get super close to that today, that'll be awesome. If we can get it done today, that'd be even better. I don't know if we will, but if we can get close to it so we can do it tomorrow and then also maybe do one small favor for some uh, big XP drops from that as well. And then also do something like Beneath Cursed Tides, maybe today if we have time, uh, just for some big XP drops from that also. So we have a lot planned, a lot to do, so let's get into this. I will see you guys uh, when I'm ready to do the cash and ready to start everything up here. So thank you guys again for watching. I appreciate it. If you do enjoy this video, please leave a like. And uh, yeah, let's get done with this stuff, all right? Okay, we're here. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. What world are we in right now, actually? Two, let's not stay in this world, because it is reset and we want to hop to something a little more empty. Come on, come on, come on, come on, let us hop. Thank you. One other person, not bad at all, not, not bad at all. So let's hop over here, grab some jars. So yeah, for now, we finished that cache and got 35 divination. So we're going to quickly grab some room crafting experience here while we have some time, and then we're going to work on getting the 20 crafting we need for the golem. First crafting level, nice, nice. Five more to go. Plenty of time. So if Micro's at 758, we're at 753 right now. We have a lot of levels planned. I have a feeling we could at least get within within range of that. If we can plan everything correctly. We just gotta be super efficient with everything we're doing. So there is 20 crafting we need for the golem. Now we're gonna head to the stronghold of safety to get that lamp and use it on something like construction and then if we have time we'll do the god statues alongside it so there's stronghold of safety done and we got 10 construction so now let's head to yanil and do the god statue and hopefully get some good xp off of that both in construction and probably prayer just to avoid uh, uh getting a small xp drop on uh, Slayer. So we got the statue done. We got a couple, three construction levels actually. So now let's actually, since we're here, uh, we can buy an item for one of the quests right at uh, this bar, I believe. Green Man's Ale, thank you. So we're going to try a Nemi Forest run real quick. I've actually never done one before. So let's see what we got going on here. So we finished the uh, Nemi Forest. We got a couple levels. Farming, mining, uh, prayer, and we also got some other XP, like Dungeoneering. Uh, we're gonna head back to... Um... Varrock, because we still might have time for the uh, museum quiz. So let's head there and see what we can do. So after finishing the Varrock Museum, we got to up to 11 Slayer and 22 Hunter. Also did Nemi Forest, like I said before, and got all these levels. Now we're doing some fletching while we wait uh, for the next cache in about seven minutes. So yeah, we've got about 43 levels so far from just uh, some fletching, all the stuff we've done so far, and some wood cutting, and a cheeky little fire making level. So we're gonna wait for this cache, probably chop down some trees while we're waiting, and hopefully get some levels from this cache. I wanna get 100 points, dude. I got 100 points the first day. I know I can do it. We just gotta keep working towards it, you know? All right, let's get some levels in here, boys. That guy's already crezzed. Okay, so we got 80. We got three divination levels, so we're up to 38 now. It wasn't as good as we wanted to be. We got severely, severely cucked in that, uh, in that run. But, uh, now that we're here, we're going to do the golem and, uh, monk's friend for some woodcutting XP and some crafting XP, as long, as well as the golem is a step towards Evil Dave's Big Day Out. So we gotta start working on those quests. So... Like I was just saying, this quest is done, and if we just have to talk to him, and that's an easy 
quick and easy 2k woodcutting XP to get us up to uh, after the party, we'll find out. <laughs> Hopefully somewhere between 20 and 30, because we need 30. We want to get as close as possible. 22, that's not as good as I thought it was going to be, but it's not bad, it's still levels. We're four levels away from 600 total level, and let's go do Golem real quick. So with that quest done, we are now 26 thieving and uh, 21 crafting. Uh, we need 30 crafting for a quest requirement. But for now, what I believe we're going to do is work on uh, starting and finishing Gertrude's cat so we can get the cat and then work on some stat requirements after that. So now we have Gertrude's cat done. We have our kitty. So let's uh, put the kitty down. Start growing it. Let's actually get our familiar thing out here. Now that we are done with Gertrude's cat, we're going to work on some... Uh, requirements for the next 15 minutes because we want to get the last 40 points in that, uh, in that cache just for some, maybe one more divination level. Because every point is worth it, dude. Every point is worth it. I actually also just realized we're over 600 total level now. So we're officially almost 150 levels behind Micro after his day three. We still have about a little under, uh, three and a half hours to catch up. We still have a ton of stuff lined up, a ton of leveling, a ton of quests. So I think we're going to catch up a little bit closer to where we were uh, yesterday. So let's keep going. Let's keep grinding. We're going to do some cooking until we have time for the next cache. And yeah, I'll see you probably after the cache. So we just finished up doing some cooking and fishing. We got 19 fishing and 26 cooking. Um, not a ton, but we only had a few minutes before uh, the next cache. So we're going to run over here, grab these last 40 points. And then I think we have an evil tree maybe and... Uh, a shooting star set up. If not an evil tree, then just a shooting star. I know we have somewhere that we can do. So we might hit up those. If not, then we'll just keep cooking and whatnot for the requirements. But yeah, I'll see you at the end of this cache. So from that cache, we got almost enough for another level. I actually stayed there a little bit too long because for some reason it doesn't cap off at the amount of points that you can actually get. So let's just grab a couple more XP from here and then dump them into the, the hole for our 39. Just so we're not wasting. There's a level right there. Wow, okay. So that brings us to 607 total level. Let's just keep throwing these in here until they're gone. Um, we're going to go back and uh, do some of the cooking quests. So Cook's Assistant, uh, maybe some recipe for disaster quests, because those are actually requirements for Evil Dave's Big Day Out. So let's see what we can do. We also have to feed our cat, because it's almost going to run away, because it's not feeding it. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Probably going to go do Cook's Assistant real quick actually doing our first fallen star and because it's our first one we immediately got a big lump sum of mining xp so we're just going to do this for a bit hopefully get some levels from it and then also if it opens up ever we will give the stardust to the little alien thing but i don't know if we're, it will because it hasn't been called out we are the first ones here so i don't know if anyone's going to be here to help us but it's going to be some nice mining xp for sure so after that uh fallen star that we did we didn't finish it to completion but we went to 39 so that got us a couple levels, and we are also going to start Cook's Assistant right now and finish it as fast as possible so we can get onto the first recipe for disaster. And then hopefully our cat will be grown in time by the end of the stream so we can get the uh, second one for Evil Dave done. If not, we'll start it tomorrow and we'll end up getting the Evil Dave's quest done tomorrow as soon as possible. Okay, so we just finished Cook's Assistant, and we started up the, uh, or the first recipe for disaster quest so we can get that done for Evil Dave's Big Day Out. But for now, we're going to go do an evil tree because we need woodcutting levels for uh, Beneath Cursed Tides when we get the chance to go there. So I will see you guys after the evil tree for another update. So the evil tree is dead. I have 33 woodcutting. So now what we're going to do is actually uh, train some fire making up to 15. Oh, these are not the trees that I thought they were. We're going to do some woodcutting because it gets sent straight to the bank. And then we're going to uh, fire make all the logs in the bank that we have to then get some, uh, some fire making levels because we need 30 by the end of today. And I think we can do that pretty easily. So we have 34 wood cutting, 22 fire making. We're 638 total level. We are working towards 30 fire making, which we'll get relatively soon here. Um, once we do that, we're going to go and do Beneath Cursed Tides. And that'll actually get us two 5k lamps for cooking and fishing, and it'll also get us 10, 000, a 10,000 XP lamp that we're going to put into Herblore that will get us exactly 30 Herblore for uh, 
Evil Dave's Big Day Out. So it worked perfectly, and it's going to be fantastic. After that, we're going to go to Crafting Up to 30, or do the first Recipe for Disaster quest, because we took a break from that. I think we're going to be better off doing just hard leveling, because we won't be able to do the Evil Dave Recipe for Disaster today, because the cat still has to grow. We can do that tomorrow, though. And um, so I think it'd be better to do some Rune Span and some Proto Leather Crafting. And then along with that, we might do some summoning and some farming as well. So uh, we're things are looking good today. We've got about an hour and 40 minutes left. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. It's it's turning out to be a good day, dude. We're being efficient. It's it's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. So we just got uh, 30 fire making. So now we can do Beneath Curse Tides. We have everything we need. We don't need any, any items. So let's head to the Wizard's Tower. So let's grab our Wicked Hood and head on over there so we can start getting things done dude let's get these 12 herb lore levels as well as some cooking and fishing levels it's gonna be fantastic i am uh i'm mistaken we actually need 30 cooking for this so let's head to actually let's head to catherby and finish up these cooking levels it won't take us too long we're already 27 we're almost 28 so we'll be able to fish and cook some more levels and then we'll go and do the quest i'm a big stupid head i didn't realize that we needed it but uh, we're almost there. We're almost there. Okay, so we have 30 cooking now. Didn't take us too long. But now we're going to go do Beneath Curse Tides, get some fat stacks of XP. And then we will be able to have most of the requirements for Evil Dave's Big Day Out. And we will be able to get on with our lives and do some other training after that. Do some rune span. Do some, uh, maybe some thieving or farming and summoning. Probably summoning and rune span will be the best one. Just keep channeling, channeling, go away. Keep her going. Hurry. So there's that quest done. Now we can use our lamps. Fishing lamp, 5k XP. 29 fishing, nice. Cooking lamp, 33 cooking. And we're going to use this on Herblore and get 30 Herblore, dude. 675, that's really nice. We are a total of, I think, 75 levels behind Micro, which isn't too bad. We still have uh, 30 minutes to do some stuff too, so let's go to Runespan. Let's go to Runespan, yeah, and get some levels there. Because we can get some quick ones to finish off, and we don't have the supplies to do some other stuff, so we might as well. And catch up even more, and this will probably be what we finish with. So, we have 5 minutes left. I hit my 30 room crafting. we're at 683 total level. Micro ended his day 3 at 758, I think. Which is really high. He got some stuff done that we honestly have to do tomorrow as well. So we're definitely playing a big game of catch up, but we're staying close. We're closer than we were yesterday. We're only down by less than 70 levels. We're down by like 60. Uh, I don't even know how many levels, but we're, we're still down, but we're not out. We still have a chance. We have to find something good to do. We have some quests lined up for tomorrow. We still want to do big or evil days, big day out. We have to finish growing our cat. Um, and then we can finish all the quests on that. Uh, Shadow of the Storm is kind of a monk of W, unless you can safe spot him somehow, even though it's a melee fight. So it's going to be kind of iffy, but we still have a chance. We just have to do, uh, Demon Slayer, uh, the second RFD, the first RFD, and Shadow of the Storm, which the, the second R, the first and second RFD the first one's going to be quick. The second one's going to take a little bit. Uh, because we have to do the uh, the stew thing. And then Shadow of the Storm will be relatively quick. It's the fight that we're worried about. But then once we're done with that, it's just Evil Dave's big day out. And we get a fat XP drop. If we have time, we're going to want to do the uh, Troll Stronghold as well. Because that gives us two 10k XP lamps. And I believe he already did that as well. So we'd be able to find something to put those in. Probably Herblor and Smithing because they're really annoying to train on Iron Man. And then after that, we might want to try to do one small favor because of the XP lamps and that as well. It is a long quest, but uh, it might be a risk we have to take. But we do have five, three minutes left to get some more room crafting levels. Uh, but we'll just see how this goes. And we'll have to do some catch-up tomorrow. We have one minute left. Hopefully we can get another room crafting level in this time. Probably not, but we'll see. 
One thing we have to focus on tomorrow is our farming and our summoning. We, uh, if we can unlock player on farms tomorrow, which I don't know if it's possible, that'd be amazing. I think we can get farming XP if we do whatever that pig quest is. Bring it home with a bacon, because you can get some farming XP from that, and that's five hours. That's all we can do. Uh, we are at 684 total level. We've caught up. We're closer than we were before, but we're still behind by quite a bit. And Marker is probably going to get Evil Dave's big day out tomorrow, so that's going to give him an even bigger lead. So we're going to have to pull out all the stops tomorrow, and at least if he doesn't get it tomorrow, we'll have to uh, pull out all the stops on Monday as well to either get Evil Dave's big day out done or get stuff like Troll Stronghold and One Small Favor done. It's gonna be, it's gonna be tough, but it is doable. It's definitely doable. It's it's gonna be rough. We're definitely playing a big game of catch up. We're about. He's at seven fifty eight. We're at six eighty four. So that's fifty plus sixteen. So we're seventy four levels behind. It's better than before. We were ninety four levels behind. We caught up by twenty levels, which isn't fantastic, but it's something. It's something. He just has that efficiency down on point, and those early days, those early levels really gave him a really good lead going into the next days. So we're going to have to figure out something to do here, figure out something to pull out all the stops, at least get super close to him going into day uh, five, if there is one. If he can get 200 total levels plus tomorrow, that'd be incredible, and I, I would be perfectly fine with losing to that because that's actually insane. But uh, there's still a chance. We just have to keep going, keep trying, keep grinding, and we'll uh we'll get there for sure. I guarantee it. I guarantee it.